Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. And today I'm going to be tying the Polypara Chernobyl. For this pattern, I'm going to be using a size 10 long shank hook. Um, for my body, I have pre cut some pieces of foam, some purple foam and black foam. I also have some white polypropylene for my wing. I have some deer skin. I have some grizzly hair coil. And for my legs, I have some white rubber pieces that I've pre cut and some yellow foam for my indicator. I'm also going to be using some white thread. And to start off, I'm going to run my thread along my hook shank. I'm going to make a couple of wraps just to make sure that my form holds together. I shall then take my purple form and I'm going to cut it in triangle shaped tips like so and do the same for my black form. Once I've done this I'm going to hold the two forms together The purple form should come under. So then take a couple of thread wraps, tight thread wraps. And then run my thread under my purple form. Give it a stretch. And make two segments to form my abdomen. Once I've made the two segments using my purple form, I shall then grab my black form and run my thread. I shall then come in and cut off a bunch of my deer hair. I shall grab the deer hair by the tips and using my fingers I shall take out the loose fibers. I shall then throw this in my stacker. Once my hair is well stuck, I shall place it over my form, making sure that it measures the same length as my form. And I shall then secure that in with a few tight wraps. And then come in with my scissors and cut out the rest. At this point, I shall come in with my head cement and put a few drops. Once that is done, I shall come with my yellow foam, which is my indicator. Place it over my deer hair. I run a few thread wraps. Shall come in with my scissors and cut that out. Once I'm done, I shall then 
coming and tying my my legs. So then grab my rubber and take it on either side like so and then run a few tight wraps I want to make sure my legs are equal equal length Once that is done, I shall come in and tie in my thorax. My thorax should have three segments. So what I shall do, I shall pull, pull on my purple foam and tie in my first segment. Run my thread under, tie in my second segment. Run my thread under again and then tie in my third segment you can see my three segments are formed I shall then grab my black foam and then tie that in where my third segment ends Next, I shall grab my white polypropylene and I shall secure that. And then cut out the extra that I don't need. I shall then come in with my thread. I want to make sure my poly maintains an upright position so that I can tie in my hair coil. So I shall come in with my thread and take wraps around. You want your fly to be neat, so make sure that you don't leave out any any poly. After a few wraps, pull your thread down and take a wrap just to make sure that it's steady enough. Once you've formed a nice length on your poly, I shall come in with my rubber legs, tie in my front legs. So just two pieces of rubber. I shall then secure those in place. And grab one of the pieces, both of the pieces and take them on either side. Again, make sure your rubber legs are equal length. Once that is done, you should secure that tightly using your thread. You can then come in with your head cement again. Put a tiny amount on your poly, propylene. Once I'm done, I shall come in with my grizzly hair coil and cut it out at this point. Take out some fibers at the base and then tie this in. Cut 
come in with your scissors and cut out the remaining base of the hackwall. Once I'm done, I shall wind my hackwall around my polypropylene. I shall take wraps downwards towards the base, make sure, making sure not to overlap or trap any hackwall fibers as I do this. You need your wing to be very neat. You can see I'm not trapping any fibers as I do this. And I shall do this all the way to the base to make sure that I cannot see any of my polypropylene. Once I get to the base, I shall finish off. I shall grab my alcohol fibers gently and then run, run my thread. Two wraps are enough. I shall then come under and take a few wraps at the eye of the hook and finish this off with a whip finish. Once I'm done, I'm going to come in and cut my thread out and also cut off the remaining tip of my hackle. Shall then come and reduce the size of my polypropylene. You can take your fly out and do a bit of a cleanup. You can see the three segments on my thorax. And you can also see the two segments that I was talking about. Once I'm done with this, I can come in with my head cement under my fly and put, put a few drops on my thread wraps. Once I'm done, I'm done with the pattern. That's a pop polypara chernobyl in purple color. You can tie this in various colors, this red, this yellow. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like below, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.